Thank you very much for clicking on this link. Um, this link will show you how to apply as a business to the tourism sector recovery window, which is part of the Malawi Innovation Challenge Fund and is supported by the United Nations Development Programme in Malawi. So before we talk in any detail about the tourism recovery window, um, we wanted to tell you a little bit about how the MICF works and what it is. It's an instrument which has been around in Malawi since uh, 2014, and it aims to align development objectives with objectives of a business. It's different from a number of other uh, facilities that are currently available in that it harnesses the strength of the private sector to try something new, and if it doesn't work, to get uh, abandoned it quickly. One of the key components of the MICF has been the ability to try something different, try a new innovation, which combines the potential to deliver commercial sustainability, but also to have a wider impact on the tourism sector, either in terms of the supply chain you work in or the communities you're engaged with so that it brings commercial returns, but also brings returns of a social nature. But at this moment, you may not be fully aware of that. It also requires that grantees provide some sort of contribution so that they have ownership of their project, that there is a financial commitment, and that grantees have to show some viability and capability to implement. The challenge fund is not aimed at developing the capacity of implementers. So as a facility which is supported by UNDP, we have certain guidelines that we have to meet in terms of running at any round, and the tourism recovery window is no different. First of all, there's transparency. Um, anyone who meets the eligibility criteria, which can be found on www.micf.mw, is welcome to uh, apply to the fund. Um, we try and uh, market our fund as widely as possible, and you've probably have seen us on the press or on social media. It's a competition, so we're looking at the best possible ideas, and it is open to all. So projects are assessed by an independent selection panel, which is made up of people who are extremely experienced and who have uh, a, a massive track record, both in the country, in the region and internationally. We are uh, looking at providing grants. So there has to be an exit mechanism for both us and yourselves. And that's done by, if you uh, are awarded a grant, having a, a clear set of milestones. You have to achieve a milestone to get a, a grant payment. And by the time you hit all of the milestones, you should be able to be commercially viable. The business model has been uh, demonstrated and you can continue on a commercially sustainable scale. So we get a lot of questions about what do we mean by innovation? Because it means a lot of things to a lot of people. I think at the, at this pyramid tries to demonstrate what it is. Right at the top, it's a new product or service or approach that has not been tried anywhere. And this is something that we will, of course, love to have, but we're realistic enough to understand that this is not always possible. What is put more possible is a product, service or approach that may be new to Malawi, or in some instances, a product, service or approach that has not tried or been tested in the specific sector that you are looking at. And so each of these is valid and we do not discriminate against one against another, but it is important that you consider how innovative your project is. So when you're um, applying to the tourism sector recovery window, you have to address one or more of the following challenges. Um, it's aimed at the tourism sector. So what do we mean by that? From an MICF perspective, that means hotel and accommodation providers, tour operators and ecotourism providers. You need to address 
these three challenges. You can address one or more. So we're looking at, at one stage to look at reorientating your existing product offer to either a new market sector such as domestic tourism or regional tourism markets rather than the international markets that perhaps you have been dependent on before. It could also uh, in, be combined with the use of digital technologies to create new value added user experiences or to integrate specialist SME suppliers into your product offer. The second challenge is to improve the uh, your integration with local communities or business offers uh, uh, or, or businesses and this is primarily to look at strengthening and deepening supply chains uh, into new service offers or support sustainable use of natural resources so long-term conservation and measures to protect or promote biodiversity that could also benefit host communities the third challenge is looking at primarily the quality and range of product offer, particularly focusing on skills development to support better guest experiences. The total value of the grant that MICF can provide is between $200,000 and $300,000. Applicants are expected to provide at least 30% of the total cost of the project, and it needs to be a combination of cash and in-kind contributions for at least 24 months. So the reason we are here is that we are looking for a social impact. <clears throat> and in for this window, we're looking at three types of social impact. One is to maintain or provide additional revenues to companies within your supply chain. So it's not only about your business, but it's about those who have a, a supplier relationship with your business. It's about the number of jobs that it can be retained within your business, new or, per, or permanent or part-time jobs created by what you're proposing, both within your business and in the wider community. And then the final one is looking at the number of people within the targeted communities that you work with who will benefit from your intervention primarily through improvements in their incomes. So your impacts could be one or more of these. So given the urgency and the nature of this uh, recovery window, we are taking a slightly different approach to the application process than we've normally done. So there is a template for a letter that you can send to us by the 14th of October. To, uh, to indicate your intention to bid for this window. You must submit this by the 14th of October at 5 p.m. Malawi time. It needs to have a, a number of addendums to it, and you can look at that form on uh, www.micf.mw to, um, to download it. Once you have submitted this form and you have given the, uh, the, the required documentation, then uh, the MICF uh, fund managers will give you a application form. You have uh, until the 13th of November to complete the application form. The MICF fund managers are there to help you and support you, but we cannot write the application form. Uh, nor can we guarantee that by following uh, everything that we, we discuss that you will get a grant. Once the application form has been submitted, uh, the MICF investment panel will uh, review it and then select um, uh, a short list of applicants to go to the contracting stage. It is important to note that nobody in the fund management team or the donors sit on that investment panel. So just to reiterate, uh, the full application form uh, is something that you must fill in. It is much more detailed and requires you to answer a number of questions. We're here to guide you through that process. Um, in addition to that, because we are looking at donor funds, you will undergo a more detailed due diligence process as well, where we will have to look at your business so that the investment panel has a rounded 
idea of the applicant and what you are proposing and whether you have a capability to implement what you propose. Please remember the deadline for submission is the 13th of November. So should you be successful in being awarded a contract, there are a, a, there's another stage that you have to go through. And that is that um, we will be inviting you to a contract negotiation. Um, as we stated before, um, MICF pays out on milestones. Those are things which are transparent in terms of what they will achieve. And they're also transparent in terms of what financing that you will have to provide and demonstrate um, to show that you have made that milestone. <clears throat> so it's we're very specific about how much money is attached to a milestone what are the means of verification and what is a trigger for that milestone so those are the things that we will discuss <clears throat> it is important that you understand we pay in arrears uh, of achieving the milestone so you have to achieve the milestone show the documentation and MICF will pay its contribution it is also important to note that implementation is only for 24 months so we can only consider uh, projects which last this duration. The, the contracting process is the key document in which we assess and understand if you've hit the milestone and from which we pay out. There are no other documents which will guide implementation. So I'd like to thank you uh, for uh, listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, please uh, drop us a line uh, through our email at info at micf.mw or please contact us through the numbers indicated in our website. Thank you very much and wishing you all the best of luck in the competition.